The deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. Here's potential banking crisis to demilitarize Ukraine. A terrorist attack in Tel Aviv. The disillusionment, the disappointment with the fake gods, the idols that we once worshipped. One idol after another collapses. First we had communism. Communism destroyed itself. That doesn't happen without Mashiach. That is a genuine Mashiach event. More recently, democracy imploded. Secularism is imploding. These are some pretty big gods, pretty big idols. Science has disappointed. Medicine, politics, money, all these things we once thought were true and real and reliable, gone, they're gone. Nobody fired at them, nobody shot them, nobody destroyed them, nobody even campaigned against them. It simply imploded. All the falsehood came to the surface. We have no more idols. We're ready for God's mission. We're ready to put our trust in Him because it's the only thing that we know now that we can trust. We used to think we knew what life was. Life was traveling, life was shopping, life was entertainment, sports, going to work. And then we discovered, you know, you can live without any of that. And in fact, your life actually gets better. During the corona panic, the experts were saying marriages are gonna fall apart because husband and wife are stuck in the house together. Families are gonna tear themselves apart because children are not going to school. They're gonna be home too many hours a day. It's gonna be bloody. Turned out to be the opposite. Divorce went down by 12%. Children discovered that they actually like being home. That family really is where life happens. And no, you don't have to go to the office. So the world has matured. The world has become more sensitive, more humane, more intolerant of unholiness, more intolerant of war. The Rebbe told us this in a very dramatic statement. The Rebbe said, I have done everything I can to bring Moshiach. Now, the one thing left that I can still do is give it over to you and you bring Moshiach down to earth. It means that the Rebbe in his years of leadership has educated us, has prepared us, that we can take over. He can give it over to us. That's a huge statement. So now it's up to us. What needs to happen? Godliness needs to become natural. It's no longer an exception. It's mainstream. When the Rebbe announced in 1967 that we should have a Tefillin campaign, we had no idea what that meant invite people to come to shul to put on tefillin? The Rebbe said, no, in the street. Put tefillin on with people in the street. One of the effects of this project is not only that millions of Jews put on tefillin, and as a result, millions of Jews reconsidered maybe they should keep kosher too. Besides all of that, what happened was we stopped being ashamed. Yes, put on tefillin in the street, in the airport, on the airplane. It became mainstream. Yiddishkeit came into its own. So that is really what Mashiach is all about. Not destroy the evil, make godliness mainstream, bring godliness into the street, put up a sukkah, let everybody see, put up a huge menorah, let everybody celebrate. You bring godliness into the life you have, into the place where you live. That's the geula. The geula means Yiddishkeit comes out of Golos. You don't have to do anything about Moshiach. Make godliness normal. That brings Moshiach. The mitzvah of the hour is that we should participate in that happening. And we should worry about others, that they shouldn't miss the opportunity. Add another mitzvah. A little kindness, a little sensitivity, a little holiness. A mitzvah wherever we can in the world will be amazingly holy. This is obviously a universal project because everyone in the world has to recognize the truth and will recognize the truth. 
So there are many details, there are many aspects, many dimensions to this global project. And so we have more information, more teachers, more speakers who will share more information and enlighten us further on how we actually make this happen. And the sooner, the better.